can we have a quick look at one of the things that this is a reply from David Seymour on his social medias. One of the things I'd like to point out or ask you about most of all is the last paragraph he wrote. Uh, he talks about um, treaty principles bill should be dumped. Um, I'm not a religious person. My parents baptized me. I've never regularly uh, attended church. However, I do have enormous respect for the core Christian principle of Imago Dei. Uh, we are each made in the image of God. I like it because it automatically means we all have equal dignity. Uh, it is one of the foundations of liberal democracy, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. That belief, however, is at odds with the recent interpretation of the Treaty of Waitangi. Um, it would be unusual to say the least uh, uh, the least for 2,000 years of Christian faith to be overturned by one page of the treaty signed by a few hundred people in the country. So he's got he's, he's putting on his... Um, <coughs> Theologian, a theologian hat there a little bit, I guess. Uh, the treaty principles bills reinforcing that all humans have equal rights is something that Christian leaders should be supporting if they want to play in politics. And this is the last paragraph. If you wonder why church attendance and reportedly Christianity is in decline in New Zealand today, display of church oh, today's display of church leaders abandoning a core, if not the core Christian belief to play politics oh, might be a clue. God. You got any response to that, Alison? Just in general? Yeah, gosh, there's so much to unpack in that. Um, yeah. You know, how long have we got, Pat? But one of the things I think that is often trotted out is that this about the treaty is that it, um, if, for example, Māori are accorded a particular right, then that becomes unequal in terms of the liberal democratic perspective. And I think um, one of the things I want to this, I want to have a, a a billboard. Maybe you could back me in this billboard. And this is what I just want to say simply, Pat. Māori are special. Get over mm -hmm. it. Yeah. The treaty was a, was addressed to Ngā Rangatera, Ngā Hapu. It was addressed to them, right? And so within the context of what the treaty is all about, there is a specialness to tangata whenua. There is a specialness to tino rangatera tanga. So this specialness is something that has uh, been been uh, enunciated and we need to understand it and actually get over it. But if we go further than that, actually we all have all kinds of specialnesses. <laughs> in terms of the way that society is is organized i actually as tangata tiriti have a specialness as well so i get it i get accorded some specialnesses that actually other people don't get accorded so it's all about uh, it's all about understanding uh the nature of the specialness that we occupy in some ways so um, the, so that's one thing is that somehow, for some reason, people find it very, very difficult. To, I'm talking about Pākehā particularly. If they perceive maybe that Māori might be getting some advantage that they are not getting, which is counterintuitive, uh, you know, given our history, given the, the, all the data, et cetera, et cetera. So, so that's one thing. The idea of uh, one person, one vote is another thing that keeps uh, is often um, trotted out as well. So our understanding of of what a, of what the definition of democracy is hugely simplistic. And as I put, I actually wrote this in an ODT article some a uh, little while ago. Um, it's quite ironic that, for example, some of these minor parties are actually um, op opposing anything that doesn't equate to a one person one vote i thought actually mmp was something that we introduced to have a better representation uh, of the of the of people and it's certainly not a one person one uh, vote system we've actually gone beyond that because we understand that that that, that doesn't um, work final one more point Sure. This whole aspect about democracy, there's such a thing called the tyranny of the majority. And that's the other thing that really frightens me about this bill, uh, that, you know, this the weight of a majority can sometimes inflict a tyranny upon a minority. And so, uh, again, that's a reason why I, I opposed uh, this bill.
hundred percent. We we say that here often. Sometimes doing what the minority wants and need is the right thing to do. And if people mm. don't believe that, then just start to look at things that happen within minority communities. So when we say the word minority, Alistair, I think people all always go to race. Right. But like <laughs> everyone's a minority. I own a, I own a dog. Dog owners are a minority. There are dog parks set up for us mm. that other people don't use. You know, there's. Mm. It's like if we think about it more like a people group, doesn't have to be a race. Then mm. it, it becomes. You know, you can do the right thing for that small group of people. For dog owners, sure. For Māori, oh, people go, oh, I don't know about that. Not quite so much for dog owners. Mm -hmm. Yeah, fine. For people with breast cancer, of course. For Māori, oh, oh, don't know about that. Mm -hmm.